Facciamo vedere la lista di partenza ora della gara maschile di Davide Visivi. Well, one for the locals, certainly. Next up then, Giacomo Bertagnoli at the bottom of your screen here. 105.75, the quickest of the men's visually impaired athletes in this medal group to cross the line in the Super G part of this Super Combined event. How will his slalom fare? Well, it's his second world here. He had a bronze on Thursday. Can he follow it on Saturday with a gold? Well, we'll have to wait a little while to see that. Uh, Jon Santacana, Mr. Week of Spain from San Sebastian, to be more precise. 36 year old bronze at the last World Championships, found himself last after the uh, Super G round. He will need every bit of his experience. See the bright yellow hand guards and shin guards as well. And again, imagine trying to follow a guide through such an intricate, windy course. With an impaired vision to boot. That's exactly what Santa Cana is doing beautifully well. He'll get to the line and Santa Cana, his overall time will be... 93. It'll be read out by me in just a moment. I'll tell you what it was in a second. Uh, coming up next is uh, Kresel of Poland. Maske Kresel, uh, Santa Cana's overall time. He's 157.20. So, uh, that's what Kessel will need to be. Kessel's first run was uh, 113.23. It was only one tenth of a second quicker than Jon Santacana Mistegui. And uh, Kessel's protective equipment, the luminous green instead. So there goes Kressel, lunging towards the line as you often see them do so, and uh, he finds himself some 4.67 seconds back from Santa Cana. So uh, that's Kressel's race run. Next. Mark Batham. Thirty two on his bib. Time of one twelve zero four for the fifty eight year old this morning. His guide is uh, Cade Yamamoto. And, uh, it's an all American outfit, that isn't it? Stripes and stars. Just having to work really hard to make the turns and follow the guide. Such a difficult pattern to form and well, Batum gets to the bottom and uh, he finds himself in third. Uh, Heck of a workout for the American. So, Miroslav Hareos. Hareos of Slovakia. And uh, Presov. Uh, choosing the green protective equipment. A little slide. 
from the Slovakian. His guide and he moving through this very quickly, I would have to say. And uh, he started 3.69 up on Santa Cana. This is a quick, quick run so far from the Slovakian. This is the section where you can slow if you are struggling, but uh, this is quick from Jareos. Really is all oh, too quick though. Well, he was going very, very well, it has to be said, and he lets out a yelp of disapproval. Wow. That opens up the medal hunt, doesn't it, a little bit? Santa Cana will sit top still. I will tell you that Jareos was flying. Absolutely flying. And I think that is where the major disappointment will be for him. Just caught an inside edge. So, uh, Kevin Burton, Chris Tatsuno, his guide. Well, Burton wants to try and put in a decent time. He starts some 392 ahead of Santa Cana, and with the speed of Herrera's run coming to an abrupt end, it's a chance for these guys to get themselves onto the podium. He's lost a lot of his speed, though, and a lot of his advantage over Santa Cana. It was a good run from the Spaniard. So he has clawed his way back, and at the moment, Burton needs to find a little bit of pace over these final few gates. Coming to vision through our commentary box window now, Burton. And the 34-year-old into the final four gates he comes squats down as low as he can into a ball I go second there's a smile there Jakub Krako is next so uh, Krako Super G gold in Sochi and a slalom silver Got a silver in the Super G on Thursday here. A former Paralympic Games, Winter Paralympic Games champion from Vancouver. And he's already first. In fact, he's improving. He had a five second advantage over Santa Cana, which was fine. He's actually took that to 521, just short of two tenths of a second he's gained. So, uh, Graco, his job now will be to push home that advantage. He's just slowed through a, a wide gate there. This is where his compatriot came unstuck at this next one. But uh, no such problem for Krako as he goes across. Just lost a little bit towards the end, but 152.28, 4.92 in front of Santa Cana. The next two will decide whether the Spaniard gets a medal or not. Klako is guaranteed one. Now, Mac Marcou with Jack Leach. You mentioned over the last few days, Leach, the, the new coach for the new season. And uh, it brought massive success over the first two events. Can they do the damage here? He's fallen behind Klako. Marcou was only fractionally behind, or in front, should I say, at the beginning of this, just two 100s, and he's dropped. Nearly seven tenths, or over seven tenths. Can he pull it back over these last few gates? That's going to be close, you know. Oh, he's done it. 150, 197. 0.31 in front of Krakow. What a brilliant bottom end from Mac Marcou. And the pressure is on this young man. The 18-year-old Giacomo Battagnoli. The crowd at the bottom of this hill will be holding their breath for the entirety of this run. Can he deliver them a gold here in Tarvisio? It's Marcou, Krakow, Santa Cana as it stands. Battagnoli. He had a two and a half second lead. He's still got it here. 
A big mistake would be the game changer. Bertagnoli. Four to come. One line. He's done it, you know. I'm absolutely sure he's done it. He has 150.49. And Giacomo Bertagnoli wins gold here in Italy in the men's super combined. <laughs> Recently impaired. And look at the joy. Look at the joy. Bertagnoli here in Tarvisio, world champion. Well, Giacomo Bertagnoli has our announcer. Can't see him, but I'm pretty sure he's doing cartwheels out of the way, uh, out to the back of where uh, I'm sat.